Okay, so this new chapter is about uh, creating autoclavical system and also create uh, switch between forward kinematic and inverse kinematic for, for the arm. So let's start again creating a simple bone chain. Right now we are uh, in uh, front view. This will be the clavicle, this will be the hub. Uh, go to bone tools. Refine, pull the bone a little bit behind, you know, and then now we are going to create uh, another chain. Just copy, shift, and drag. Uh, if you want, you can change its color and uh, make it a little, a little bit more smaller. Uh, so now we are going to create. Uh, the I key. So one here, another chain here, and another one here. So now we're going to create the controller for the hand. Oh, oh sorry, my bad. Come back in front view, one chain for the head, and another one for the Elbow. So align this to the tip here and this one to the elbow. Go in perspective, local view, pull behind a little bit. Now select here, motion panel, pick a target and select the controller. Don't worry right now if you're going to switch the bone, doesn't matter for now because we are going to align uh, later. Do the same here for this other hierarchy. Now select the 2IK, align it here. This one we are going to align here, all the position, and the clavicle align here. Now if you have done everything correct, you are going to move both chain together, you know with these two controller. Now, again front view, uh, we are going to create three helper, actually four. Uh, one here, here, and let's say here. This one align here, this one here. Oh, also, the also rotation. Same here again. Uh, again here and pull it let's say in the middle doesn't have to be perfect no worry for now now we're going to link this helper to the red bone this one here and this one here uh, as I said before another helper here and we are going to link these two bone and the little helper to the bigger one And now, uh, animation constraint, look at constraint to the first helper, and then add the look target to the second one. As last time, you line lane to zero. If you want to uh, keep initial offset, doesn't really matter for now. And now we're going to create another uh, controller for the clavic clavicle. So link it here, link the IK here and this one to the bigger one. So if you've done everything in the right way when you move the, the hand now oops I'm sorry something is wrong. Uh, oh yes this one's supposed to be linked to the smaller one. Sorry. Yes and now as you can see the the gray chain has automatic uh, uh, clavicle and you can always of course animate individually if you want okay so that's it for uh, automatic clavicle okay about the switch between IK and FK we are in top view now I create a uh, simple chain the clavicle upper arm lower arm and hand and basically what you have to do is create three chain 
and one in FK, one in IK, and then this third one that is going to blend between the two. So uh, just copy and uh, create uh, another chain like I did here, as you can see this yellow one. It's enough from uh, uh, the upper arm, basically, you don't need the clavicle, at least you don't want to use automatic clavicle. And then a third one, uh, as you can see here, for the IK. So, uh, create also the, the controller. Oh, let me make, make them visible. So, let's hide the uh, bone now and, uh, and the FK and create a simple I IK. From here, link this to the red one. And for the bone animation constraint, what is it? Orientation constraint to here and uh, go here and keep initial offset. And once again, here pick target this elbow controller, and now we have a simple IK chain for the IK setup for the arm. Don't forget to link the red bone here to the to the clavicle bone and now we are going to set up the FK it's pretty simple actually uh, so link this one to the yellow controller the yellow controller to the yellow bone and so on and this one here now we are going to create the slider uh, let's say a simple pardon, rectangle oops here align it here it doesn't matter really the position or the orientation if it's not exactly it doesn't really matter and link to the end bone apply an attribute holder and then here uh, once again animation uh, parameter editor let's call IK FK switch from 0 to 100 add and now select this three bone alt click and alt and right click freeze transform and now uh, select this one and uh, oh sorry animation constraint what is it? Orientation constraint. Select first the yellow bone and then, oops, make it visible, the red bone. Maybe you can just go here, rotation, uh, add orientation target and pick the, the red bone. As you can see, it's going to have a value 50-50. Do the same here for uh, the, the other bone. Just be sure you always pick first the same bone, in this case the yellow one. Uh, so you don't mess up the setup later. Uh, so again, add. And do the same also for the head bone. Okay, once you have done with this, you will see now that if I move the IK chain, the gray one is going to move about 50%. So, go here, right click, one parameter, transform, rotation, orientation constraint, orientation weight zero, select the little rectangle that we created before, modify object attribute holder, custom attribute, and select the, your slider. Here, just press the, this arrow, connect, then come back here, uh, connect again, but you will see the bone moves slightly, so let's type 100 minus and uh, the name of your slider and make it date. So once again, do the same here, work parameters, transformation rotational, orientation constraint, zero value. Uh, oops, I selected the wrong one. Uh, oh, this is doesn't need it. So again, here. Work parameters transform rotation. 
and here attribute holder custom ikfk switch here connect select this one and once again and also the same with the with the hand uh, bone and now everything should work now so we can try to move the uh, ik and as you can see now the the gray chain fall off perfectly you know and if you want to go to fk just select here the slider and here as you can see now is aligned perfectly to the fk so now you have a, a basic setup for the blend from IK and FK and now if in animation you basically you want to align the IK to the FK just really easy just align the controller you know and it's really really simple and then you can move the slide here select this one and see it's basically perfect align it works also for the opposite basically so if you wanna have uh, if you have the high k here and then you wanna align the fk to the ik just simply select this one and align to the bone actually uh, rotation is just enough And that's it. It's very easy. I hope you enjoy.